This segment of the news is brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Harump and online. Welcome back to News 46. Gretchen Pappas from Desert View Hospital invites era seniors to a unique driving class. Today we're going to talk about a new class that we'll be offering starting in July. It's the AARP Smart Driver course and it is, um, it's facilitated by someone from AAR AARP who's specifically trained in the rules of the road and tips for defensive driving and it's targeting people ages 55 plus just to kind of help them, you know, learn about changes that might happen with their hearing, with their vision, with their reaction time. It's a four hour class. It, the first one is July 10th, there is a charge. It's $15 for members of AARP and $20 for non-members. And that's just payable the day of the event to the AARP instructor. We do ask for registration on that and they can register either by calling 702-388-4888 or they can again go to the Desert View Hospital website at www.desertviewhospital.com and they will see where they can register for the class. What does it consist of? It's a four hour class. It's a lot of education. They use a PowerPoint. They really want to help people just kind of um, freshen up on their driving skills, things that, you know, maybe we've forgotten since we all got our driver's license 40 some years ago. And then it also does bring up things like, you know, you need to get your vision checked. You need to be aware of possible hearing losses and how that might affect you when you're driving. And then also reaction time, because reaction time does slow as we're older. And it's just important to be aware of those, and the class incorporates that as well. And one more time, for more information, who can they get in contact with? For more information, they can go to our website, desertviewhospital.com, and there's information there that they can read more about the class and also register online, or they can call the, on um, the phone line from 702-388-4888. Tales of Nye County is having a fundraiser all month long. Caitlin Boyer reports. Tales of Nye County is a nonprofit, low cost, spay and neuter assistant program. We also trap, spay and neuter, return stray and feral cats. So, you guys are a nonprofit organization. Are you guys located in Prump? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. And so, do you serve the community or is this just something where you get animals from like shelters and spay and neuter? No, this is strictly for the community. Um, we, they can call me. Um, we will assist them with um, getting a voucher for low-cost spay and neuter here in Pahrump. Stray and feral cats are trapped and taken to Vegas once a month, fixed, um, vaccinated, and a near tip. So um, when you say it's low cost, is there a flat rate or is it case-by-case -case basis? It's um, basically what the individual can afford and it depends on whether it's a dog or a cat. How do you qualify for the low cost spay and neuter? You call. Okay. Tell me your circumstances and we'll go from there. Okay. How do people get in contact with you? Um, you can call 702-306-3245 or you can go to talesofnightcounty.com and fill out an application and we'll contact you. And Caitlin's back with today's Angie's List report on Dex do's and don'ts. Most wood decks are made of pressure-treated pine or red cedar. Do make it a seasonal habit to check for weak spots, signs of wood rot, and instability in posts or framework. Don't let the surface suffer either. You should reseal your deck every two to three years with either a clear or semi-transparent stain. The easiest way to find out whether it's time to tackle your deck is to drop some water on it. If it beads up nicely, you can wait a little longer. If it soaks in, it's time to restain. This can be a do-it-yourself project, but you can do more damage than good if you're not careful. Do use a power washer, but don't use too much pressure or spray too close to the wood. You want to keep the, the tip of your power washer at least six inches away from the wood at all times. And you want to keep it at pretty much a constant elevation and always keeping it in motion. If you stop or dwell in an area, you're likely to leave a mark on the wood that'll be very difficult to remove. After you power wash, let the deck dry out, then apply the stain or sealer. A penetrating 
Using oil-based stain is usually better than a water-based product that just coats the surface. If you use something that forms a film, it behaves like a paint. You almost have to get that 100% off, either by sanding or chemical stripping, and that becomes very arduous. If you find problems with your deck, don't wait to fix it. You and your family and your guests will be out there a lot this summer. Don't risk their safety. This is Caitlin Boyer reporting for News 46. All right, it's that time. Let's take a look outside, see how our weather's looking. And a little, another beautiful day in Perm, but a little bouncy out there. Looking like we have a little bit of wind. All right, we'll find out more when we come back.